his strength improvement has been the best of anyone in this draft from one year to the next. He has enough skill that he should be able to challenge with almost everybody in the draft. Shot saved by Houston, drop out front to Barzell, who shoots and scores. Weaves his way to the zone, he got interfered, uh, did Hickman, and Barzell scores! His shot ricochets off Burke, up and over him and in. This guy here, Barzell, can beat you with plain power. He distributes the puck well, he's a big guy, he's a physical player, and he gets the job done. Stolen by Barzell, Barzell on a race the other way, Barzell short-handed, Barzell backhand shot, and he will score! We have a trade. Edmonton trades picks number 16 and 33 in the 2015 NHL Draft to the New York Islanders in exchange for Griffin Reinhardt. That means... Islanders are proud to select from the Seattle Thunderbirds, Matthew Barzal. Matthew Barzal met with 25 teams at the Combine, and he had a, one of the most up and down seasons. <laughs> Not necessarily skill-wise, but just battling a fluky injury. <laughs> well, he almost wrecked his draft season by goofing around at a before a game, and he cracked his kneecap, missed 28 games, really knocked himself down. But I'll tell you, a very effervescent guy with a lot of personality. Talked to his agent, J.P. Barry. He says, I think this kid knows more about the draft than depth charts of other teams. So he probably had it already figured he was going to become a New York Islander. He probably figured they're going to want me behind John Tavares in a couple of years. Well, he's really engaged in the game. I mean, he's a video nut. He goes back, he watches his shifts, he watches friends of his in this Canadian Hockey League. He watches NHL games. You see he's well-versed on the draft and other things. A very engaged, intelligent young man. But coming back from that injury, showing people that he had something to prove, and then going to play for Canada at the under-18s, really brought him back up to the level that everyone thought he was going to be at. When you started to prognosticate this draft going back to last year, this guy for sure was a top 10 pick, probably inside the top seven. He slips all the way to 15. The Islers make a big push and give the Islanders a lot of credit here for really stepping out in front of things. They surprised a lot of people by going up to get to Josh Hosang last year, and I think they surprised a lot of people with this deal here. 
You know, he's also one of the most personable kids in the entire CHL with a great sense of humor. He's been known to take reporters for interviews into the Seattle Thunderbirds gym and gets on the bike and says, guys, let's do this interview old school Ottawa style. <laughs> he, he doesn't lack confidence. It's not cocky. It's just he really loves the game. He does. He's got a tremendous head for it. Great vision. For sure a pass first guy. And, and as a winger, you probably like playing with a centerman like that, but you also want a centerman who's a threat to score as well. And just 12 goals this year. Uh, I know it was an injury plague season, but he doesn't have that kind of shot first. Go get the goal myself. Tremendous disher. Tremendous passer. Great vision. But, but does not have that shot score mentality. They make a trade to get the 16th pick. Let's go back down to the draft floor. And John Good goal, Blue Wings. 